A Hawaiian fisherman named Scott had a scary experience when a tiger shark attacked his kayak while he was fishing. He actually captured the incident on his GoPro camera. Scott recalled hearing a sound and then he just got mauled by a tiger shark. Scott believes that the tiger shark accidentally thought his kayak was a hurt seal and that's why it attacked him, which doesn't really make sense to me because why would a hurt seal be yellow? Anyways, despite the incident, Scott decided to continue fishing. The shark left bite marks on his kayak, but he was completely unharmed. Shark attack are very low in the U.S., with a very small likelihood of it being fatal compared to other things in the United States. Hawaii has seen four shark attacks this year, including two involving tiger sharks. Those little rats must be aggressive. This incident comes after a 13-year-old girl who was attacked by a tiger shark, and she ended up fighting it off and it bit her multiple times. Throw her in the UFC, she'd probably knock out Jake Paul. Jojo Siwa had a frightening experience recently. Early in the morning while she was gone, her house got broken into. Her house is in a city called San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles, California. The thieves took a bunch of stuff, but the value of everything that they took is still unknown. Thankfully, Jojo Siwa wasn't home at the time, so she wasn't in danger. But she did talk about it on a social media video that she posted. I'm really numb right now. There was an accident with him this morning. She said that the robbers were armed and it made her sick to her stomach when she saw the footage. The police came, but the robbers already left. The police will investigate it further and try to find the robbers. Fortunately, no one, including Jojo Siwa's dog, were hurt. It was a scary situation and we hope Jojo Siwa and her family are doing okay. The Florida Department of Education is under investigation. Why? Well, a fifth grade teacher showed her class a Disney movie that contained gay marriage. The teacher's name is Jenna Barbie. And no, it wasn't a Barbie movie, so don't even ask. The movie she showed them was a movie called Strange World. And she said this would teach them valuable lessons in life. For example, kindness, communication, and chasing dreams. The movie is about a family that explores uncharted land. And it has a subplot where a boy has a crush on another boy. Barbie stated that that part of the movie was harmless. However, a complaint from a parent was filed. And the person who filed that has a family member that is on the board of education. Barbie claimed that her actions followed the school's guidelines and that she had the approval to show PG rated movies to the entire class. This investigation could cause consequences for Barbie, including losing her teacher's license. Barbie stated that the students didn't find it as a big deal until it became an issue raised by a parent whose kid was in the class. Now tell me what your thoughts are on this. 